This video is going to be the first in a series of Grumbles Investigations videos into laptop RAM. Uh, we're going to be specifically looking at RAM performance in 5th generation Ryzen laptops, but the general topics should be applicable to any laptop, uh, Intel or otherwise. The next video will directly compare single rank and dual rank RAM. My final video will compare a total of 5 or 6 different sets of RAM, even the top dollar HyperX RAMs that have slightly better timings. It's well known and documented that you get a pretty significant boost going from single channel to dual channel RAM and going from by 16 to by 8 yields maybe even better increases to performance than that. So what we're going to be looking at here is the difference between single rank and dual rank and what you get paying top dollar for the best kit available for Ryzen laptops anyways, uh, HyperX, Impact, or Fury kits. Make sure you subscribe to support the channel if you're interested in this because this is a ton of work to make. Now understandably, there's a lot of confusion around laptop RAM. It's been a hot topic since Jared's video on performance differences when he switched out the RAM in his Legion 5 Pro. I've been studying and reading up on RAM more for than most exams I've taken in my life and I still definitely don't totally understand it all. Um, so I've bought, there's some that I've already returned, a bunch of different sets of RAMs to test and get actual physical answers from looking at and testing, putting it in the computer and seeing what the timings are. So let's start with the basics. You probably already know the two main metrics about RAM that you normally see advertised. The size, 8GB or 6GB, and the clock speed. Uh, processors and motherboards both have max RAM size they support and speeds that they can support. As far as I know, basically all 11th gen Intel and 5th gen Ryzen laptops should support 3200 MHz RAM and generally 32 gigabytes or more. You may also hear the term DDR4. That just refers to the generation the RAM is. DDR4 was released uh, early 2015, I think maybe the end of 2014. So if your computer is less than five years old, that's probably the type of RAM it uses. And if you have a really old laptop you're looking to upgrade, you might have to get DDR3. So after the base two metrics, the next most important one to look at is whether the RAM is by eight or by 16. You want your RAM to be by eight. Uh, Samsung actually is nice enough to put this information on the sticker of all their RAM sticks. But otherwise, it can be tricky to find out. Uh, for example, Crucial, they list it on some of their spec sheets, but not all of them. The other way to tell, uh, from what I've read and the 10 or more different kits I've bought and checked, by 16 RAM will only have banks on the front, but not on both sides. And this is, to my understanding specifically, to save a tiny bit of space in like ultra slim laptops. The next metric to look at is whether the RAM is dual rank or single rank. I've seen some people confuse this with dual channel and single channel and by eight and by 16, very understandably. It took me an embarrassing long, long amount of time to figure out that to get dual channel RAM, you have to get 16 gigabyte sticks. It's technically possible to get an 8 gigabyte stick that's dual rank, but for engineering reasons we're not going to get in the weeds on, it tops out at a max clock speed of 2400 megahertz, so that's definitely not going to be worth the trade-off. Out of four different 16 gigabyte sticks, the only one that was single rank only had a single row of banks instead of two. So it just had one row, kind of like the 8 gigabyte sticks instead of the two rows. So if your laptop RAM has two sets of banks on the front and back, it's probably dual rank. You can easily double check with CPU Z though. Uh, it's a lot easier to tell from looking in there whether it's by eight or by 16. Interestingly, I bought these two sets of Crucial 16 gigabyte RAM. And on one of them, it specifically says in the spec sheet that it's dual rank. And the other one, it doesn't mention. So I just assumed the, the one where it didn't mention it was single rank, but it was actually dual rank. Crucial was like very hit or miss on their information. Um, 
The final value and the most obscure one to look at is the RAM timings. This is where my knowledge and understanding of RAM is really pushed to its boundaries. So if you have a computer engineering degree or otherwise or know more about this than me, please feel free to correct anything wrong I say down below. Um, but in general, you can look at the first number listed. So right here, the first number of the timings, it's CL22. And otherwise, the primary timings will otherwise be the same on any other stick of RAM with that number. So just worry about the first one out of like CL22, 2020, etc., etc. Uh, to make it even more confusing, lower is considered better for this number. But when RAM's running at a lower clock speed, that number is going to be lower. But that's not going to be better in that case. That's another bad trade-off to make. As far as Ryzen sticks, uh, all of them pretty much have the exact same CL22 timings with the exception of HyperX. It comes in CL20 and I haven't gotten to that to test uh, to see what kind of performance gain that gives you. I'm not expecting it to be huge or anything, but should hopefully be at least measurable. So some shopping tips on buying RAM, since it's a pretty frequent question in tech boards on whether or not it's the RAM's good that someone links. Uh, number one, Amazon specifically, and probably other retailers do this, kind of use a stock picture for a bunch of different RAM sticks. So don't base your buying decision off that picture. Check the serial number of the RAM you're looking at. It should normally be listed like in the selection you have selected. And then Google that and you can probably find a spec sheet that's hopefully helpful. And of course, Samsung literally is nice enough to list it on there. Most RAM is by eight, from what I can tell, so the odds are in your favor. Uh, make sure you're, the RAM you're ordering for a Ryzen laptop runs at 3200 megahertz at 1.2 volts. Uh, we won't get too deep into the voltage. Uh, I guess there must be some Intel laptops that support 1.35 volts, where you can get slightly better timings off of that, actually, but Ryzen's don't. When you get your RAM, double check that the serial number you ordered is what you get. I've received the wrong RAM three different times, although once it was a happy mistake and I got a 16 gigabyte stick instead of an eight. My last tip is according to what I've read that 64 gigabytes of RAM because of science and other reasons will be slower than a 16 or 32 gigabyte stick. So only buy it if you really have some sort of niche usage that's gonna need that much storage space. So a quick preview of my testing results so far are that in general, you get a slight boost from dual rank compared to single rank. The difference is more pronounced between 32 gigabytes of single rank and dual rank RAM compared to that between 32 gigabytes of dual rank and 16 gigabytes of single rank, at least in the sticks I used for testing. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next two videos to, and support the channel where we're gonna test a bunch of RAM.